Hi guys. So my name is Leanne. I have talked to quite a bit of you on messaging and I have sent out quite a few orders in the past two months. I'm very thankful that you guys have chosen me to handle your HTV and sublimation transfers. Um, I'm doing this quick video today to help guide you on how to use my transfers. They will come packaged, and I'm sorry if I keep glancing off. I, I tend to do that when I'm thinking. I should have a script, but I don't. Anywho, um, they come packaged with reusable transfer sheets um, already um, cut. And so they will be these plastic um, sheets with a uh, white paper. I try to send, like if you order 10 transfers, I try to send five transfer sheets. Um, in the very, very beginning, like one of my first one or two customers, I was actually putting a transfer sheet on each transfer. Um, however, I got busy very quickly and um, I reached out to a couple of other companies that do this and they just send some transfer sheets. So unfortunately, I could not continue to put the transfer sheet on the transfer itself for you guys and I'm sorry um, so that's why I'm making a video to show you how to do it and um, some little tips for um, if it's being um, finicky or not so I will get the camera set up and we will okay we're back so I will do another video on how I get your transfer to this um, point. However, it just simply needs to be weeded. So yes, these still have to be weeded. Um, it's not as bad as traditional HTV, but if you've given me a design that has lots of little letters and lots of little holes, um, I can't promise you that I'm not saying bad words. So, um, I know you probably can't see it on the camera, but I just, just like if you're weeding traditional, you just take your weeding tool. And then once you get it started, it just peels off. Let me take this part off. So it just peels off. So I am doing this part um, for you guys. However, I do ask that um, double check it and make sure I didn't miss any spots um, when I am weeding it. I, I try to get everything, but if you've ordered several of these designs, um, there may be a spot that I forgot. And so, it says, Lift Salty. I'm going to see my daughter shortly in Hawaii, and so I'm making her and I some shirts. Okay, so I, you put your, your transfer on a flat surface. Let me find my tool. And then you're going to need a scraping tool, a credit card, something durable and with a, a flat surface. And so you're going to put your transfer on a flat surface face up so you can see the design and everything. Then you're going to take your transfer paper and you're going to peel it away just like this. And you're going to put the back sheet off to the side. 
and then you're going to take your clear transfer paper and the sticky side is down so the the non-sticky side is on the top and the sticky side is on the bottom and you're going to stand right over your transfer and you're going to get in the middle and you're going to hold it over your transfer and then you're going to take it and you're going to kind of I don't know what this would be but you would just kind of like bring it in because you want to you want the middle of the transfer to touch the transfer sheet the film to touch the transfer first so you're gonna kind of bring it in like this so if you look at it from the side it's in kind of a U shape and you're just going to set it down and you're just going to gently let the sides fall down and of course before you do this you want your film your transfer film to be as close to the size of your graphic as possible so most of the, tr the films that I send you will be as big as your biggest graphic so if you have a big one plus you have a couple of little ones um, you're gonna have um, just a bunch of the big ones and then you can cut them down to fit the smaller ones all right so this is on here and it's all smooth you're going to take your flat credit card squeegee whatever you want to use and you're just going to start in the middle and you're going to push out just like that and I call it burping it you hear those little burps those are the air pockets and so you kind of want to burp it if it's burping a lot that means that you've got a lot of air in between your film and your graphic. You're going to pick it up and you're going to flip it over. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's like an air bubble there and that's fine. And so if you have lots of little letters and I don't have one right now. But if you have lots of little pieces, when you turn it over, make sure that that's where you hit it. Okay. So after you get it all smoothed out, while it's turned over, you're going to hold on to the sticky film and you're going to pick up your graphic in a corner. Just start in a corner and you're going to start peeling the graphic backing which is a milky color it's milkier than the film and you're going to start pulling it away and it is more resilient than it appears and it's okay to touch the back of the graphic you don't want to touch it and get it dirty but you can put your hand on it and hold it down and just pull it away and this one's not doing it and I will try to come up with one that gives me a little bit of trouble but say you get right here and this part is not picking up what you do is you pinch down your your milky film just pinch it down and roll it out and that will cause your graphic to stick okay we're gonna there's one little extra piece over here okay. all right and you can discard this you don't want to reuse that Alright, so if you turn this over, 
you have successfully transferred your graphic to the sticky. Well, it's sticky on the back. So that backing for the film, there's a, a waxy side and there's a, I don't know, it's a smooth side. The waxy side, and you can tell it's a little bit shinier and see how that one's matte. So the waxy side, you're going to take your graphic and you're just going to set it on there because now it is safe to heat up your heat transfer, your heat press and transfer this onto the sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my heat press all warmed up and I'm going to show you how to transfer this onto um, your top. So I'll be back. Okay, we're back. And I have the tank top um, that I'm going to use. And it's just a little tank top that I got up from Walmart. Um, I do have it on a pressing pillow. If you guys have not invested in a pressing pillow, it makes a world of difference. Um, because like on this tank top, you know, you have to put the design up here where the seams are for the sleeves. And so the pillow raises it up enough that those will not interfere with the pressing of your design. And so I have my heat press set at 300 degrees. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to pre-press your shirt. Um, it warms up the surface, but it also um, takes out the extra um, moisture that might be in your shirt. And then I rub um, a lint roller over the surface. Um, I do have animals in the house. They don't necessarily stay down here with me in the studio, but um, it can transfer you to your shirt and then down here. So we have our transfer. I'm going to take it off. And the way I get the center, and I'm sorry I'm so close, I had to put the camera like this in order to, is I fold it in half. And up here at the top and at the bottom, I just kind of crease it. And what that does is it gives me a little line for the top and the bottom so I kind of know where my center point is. And I'm going to lay it on just like that. I do have my Teflon sheet. Let me see if I can show you guys. Um, magnet. I use magnets. And so I have my Teflon sheet always on the top. And so I just took magnets and folded it up and it holds it on to the side so that way I don't have to worry about whether I remember to put the Teflon sheet or not. Alright. So what we're going to do we want to press it down. You need medium <coughs> pressure for 10 to 15 seconds. I have mine set for 11 You're going to pull it up. And this is a hot peel. What a hot peel means is that while it's hot, you can peel it off. And so, whoo, shirt is warm. Don't forget that you save this. So you put it right back on this backing. And then you're going to put your shirt back on the heat press. If it came off, you're going to straighten it back out. And you're going to press it. Remember, I have my Teflon sheet, but you want to put a Teflon sheet on top of this for five more seconds. Um, because if not, it might melt it. 
and then it is done. All right, I'll take you back over to the table and we will look at it close up. Okay, we're back and it is completely pressed. When you know that you have a good pressing and you probably can't see it on the camera, but the all material has like a surface. It's not completely smooth. So if you can see the fibers imprinted into your um, your transfer or whatever you pressed, then you know you have a good solid pressing. So there it is. It is all pressed. It's ready for my daughter to wear in Hawaii. Um, it's durable. So that's how you press my HTV transfers. All right, so that's a quick video on how to use and press my heat transfers. Um, they're HTV. Um, the, if you have any questions, just message me. Um, I hope this helped um, you guys that had some questions about how to use my product. Um, and we'll talk soon. Bye.